Isn't it fantastic news that we have Airshow 061 up and running again? But it also means that we're running into this problem yet again. Which means it's time for... Another session of the VGJ School. So if it wasn't clear from the intro, what we're talking about in this tutorial is the Airshow 061 video glitch on playback. And the best way to illustrate this is to demo the problem. If I go into Airshow and go to a pre-recorded video, if I press play, everything looks good and normal to begin with. And it will continue to look good and normal as long as you don't scrub the track. However, if I want to jump forward in the video, watch what happens. Things start to get a little ugly, and then when you play it, it's going to look awful. It may write itself after a few seconds, but that's no good for if you want to upload it to YouTube. And also when you try and edit it, you will have problems as well. Now, fortunately, this is a known problem and there is a very easy fix, and this is what you need to do. The basic premise of a fix is that you need to re-encode the video before you make any changes to it. And the way to do this is to import the video into a video editor and then export it without making any changes. And the best way to do this is through a free video editor application called Video Joiner and Trimmer. It's completely free and the reason I suggest this is because it includes no adverts and no restrictions to video exporting. So what you need to do once you've downloaded the application is obviously open it and then add your Airshow screen recording once you've saved that to the camera roll, which I have helpfully here, and then import it. And what I'm going to do at this point is make absolutely no changes. And you can tell there's a problem with a video because there is no change to the scrubbing thumbnail at the top here. So don't make any changes to the video. Simply press the share button at the top right here and then tap on photos. And what that will do is start rendering the video and put it back in your photo gallery. So we'll wait for it to render and then we'll check the final result. So now the render is complete, let's go back to our photos application and we'll check the two videos that are there. So this was the original video here and if I try and play it, what we should find is that if we try and scrub it, we're not going to get very far, it's going to look all horrible and blurry. But now if we look at the new re-rendered video, if I press play, you should be able to see that there is a beautiful set of trimming thumbnails down at the bottom and then when I scrub it, it's going to scrub absolutely perfectly and you can see the game running absolutely beautifully. And from there, you'll be able to import this video into a video editor and do whatever you want with it or upload it to YouTube. So that is the very simple fix. Just import the video into a video editor, make absolutely no changes and then export it and you will have a video that you can use, edit, upload, do as you wish. A couple of important points now, this usually works 90 to 95% of the time, sometimes the screen recording will just be corrupted and that's the nature of screen recording on an iOS device. And this doesn't work at all on iOS 11 because whenever you do a screen recording through Airshow on iOS 11 it will screen record and give you a recording but for some weird reason whenever you open certain applications it will cut the screen up and have some horrible flashing glitching like this. You can fix this if you want to, or you can try to, by downloading an application such as Video Crop and then bringing the video into the editor and then cropping it up to the point where you can see the flashing like I'm doing here. And now as I play, it should just crop the playing area. But the problem with this is that this can randomly switch screen size, like when you go back to menus and you'd be cropping off part of the, the screen there if you tried that. And another problem is, is when you try and do an air show recording in landscape, it just fails completely and the screen will pause a little some Something like this. So in terms of support for Airshow 061 on an iOS 11 device, it's not going to work. So when you upgrade in two or three months, you're going to lose this Airshow feature anyway. But hopefully what we should have by then is the built-in screen recorder and that should be working perfectly. At the moment, it's got a few bugs. So something to bear in mind when you're moving from iOS 10 to iOS 11, if you still want to use Airshow. Now, one more problem you may have encountered when doing screen recordings with Airshow is that it seems to kill the music. You only have sound effects when doing your screen recording and many other screen recorders do that as well. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it has been a long-standing issue and there's no real fix. Hopefully when we have iOS 11 and that official screen recorder 
recorder, it will have been solved. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then tune into the Video Gadgets channel on a regular basis, and of course subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. No, this doesn't really work in post editing. <laughs>